Hi guys, Comrade Kane here. I came across a a way to reveal the map by adjusting game configuration files. Once the file is edited, it allows you to open the debug panel by hitting the tilde key. And the command reveal all will reveal the whole map, including wonders, other civilizations, and city-states. So you can actually view the whole map, understand where everything is. Obviously, you can see the strategic resources in the ancient era, but it gives you a very good idea where the other resources, bonus and luxury resources are, and obviously major and minor sieves. So it can give you a head start if you're trying to maybe move on to a high difficulty level and you need a little bit of practice or if you're looking for a specific start. So what you need to do is go to the root folder of Civilization 6 and find appoptions.txt. In it, there is a line called Enable Debugging Menu, which is set at zero meaning false. What you need to do is change it to 1, save the file, and start the game. So let's say you have Johnny on large continents, everything else is standard, you go and start the game. Once the game starts, you look at the location, you're like, holy crap, that's a pretty serious location actually. <laughs> Right? Like, we have some decent appeal. We have some fresh water and ridiculous mining type of resources. But you decide, you know what? Let me launch the debug panel. Type in reveal all. Hit enter. The it opens the map. You can see its continents. And then you look at it and you're like, holy f Are you serious? We have three wonders here with the cliffs, Epajajakolo, and Matterhorn. And you're like, wow, I really like this map. And lots of wonders, and it seems like it's going to be fun. All you have to do is go and load the autosave. And the autosave is the unrevealed map. Um, the alternative option would be like a for example, if you wanted to start on a different uh, difficulty, and then it's still the key just to close the panel. But if you wanted to start a different on a different difficulty, maybe you wanted to add a secret society. All you have to do is get the map and game seed, which are those values with negative one twenty one, six eighty two, zero zero five for the map, and then go back into the main menu and enter those values. We just want to make sure that you create the exact same type of uh, settings. So you want to pick the sieve that you've picked. In this case, it's Johnny. And make sure that these settings here, the map settings, the climate settings, the everything else stays exactly the same. So we picked, all we did is change the map size. So right now I'm going to change it to Prince and I'm going to add secret societies. Um, but obviously what we need to do is enter our seed just like this. And then hopefully you get the exactly same location as you can see on a different difficulty with the secret societies mode. And that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, I hope that this something like this actually helps you. Maybe do practice runs um, or do other things that you know, research or finding that perfect location, starting location. I feel like having this knowledge and sharing with you guys uh, made sense. I feel like anybody should have access to it. And so uh, enjoy, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.